A dry winter is giving way to a dry spring and causing big problems across our state. At least three dozen wildfires in the state have burned more than 20,000 acres, according to the National Drought Mitigation Center. And farmers and ranchers are worried about what comes next. Mike Dandria reports. We've been experiencing drier than normal conditions, leading to drought designations on the U.S. Drought Monitor ever since the spring of 2020. Most of North Dakota is under a severe drought as we approach growing season. With almost no snow to melt and already dry soil, this creates headaches for local agriculture. Uh, if we don't get any moisture in April or May, then we will um, have some really restricted um, forage productions. Penny Nestor with the Kidder County Research Extension Center says this can lead to feed shortages. Other experts like hydrologist Alan Schlag say feed shortages can lead ranchers to downsize. It is possible to start drawing conclusions that maybe there will be some farmers and ranchers out there that will have to diminish their livestock holdings in order to take advantage and not overuse their existing pastures and hay fields. And a near-term risk, wildfires. Uh, we've already experienced some wildfires in western North Dakota, and that likely is going to continue as we get into these days where it's 60 degrees and the humidity is low and the winds pick up. So what will break the drought? Nestor says it's not just the amount of rain that we need, but the timing and rate of rainfall. If uh, we get a lot of rain in one time, it's not going to help the way we need it. We need long, slow rainfalls to really come back from drought. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Mike Dandria. And Bismarck is nearly one inch below our normal precipitation amount for 2021 after an abnormally dry fall. Coming up on KX News.